Hello everyone, we are here in Canada, specifically Toronto, for the Toronto Film Festival. We are going to be seeing Andrea Buccelli momentarily for his new documentary, which covers his entire 30-year career lifespan. So, we're waiting, we're awaiting him soon here before hopefully it rains on us. Fifty hours in his house, you know, a lot of uh, observational footage, but also we had a lot of archives of um, his life throughout his life, uh, personal footage as well, with VHS, Super 8 that they shot over the years on uh, on all this um, kind of you know traveling around the world when he became very famous, and it was a great insight into the world of you know, as I was saying before, of a man who's see himself like a man come from the little village from Tuscany and conquers the world. We started uh, around uh, May last year and we finished around uh, September, October, November and then obviously you know refining it but the, the film came out in about three four months. He's a man with great value and in this world is very important. He's a man who gives and brings hope to people and that's what really is powerful about his life. Where did you find all the footage for this? Was it just in a vault, hidden away? No, no, I mean, you know, there's, there's footage of Andrea Bocelli everywhere, so uh, it's, not, it's not rare to find. But it, it, his private footage was given to them by the management, by uh, Veronica, who allowed us to have all this footage uh, of, uh, of his private life, um, even before she arrived on the scene with the, she became air manager, so it was, uh, Family. 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 Okay. And as far as like the hardest part to edit, what was the most difficult part for you? Multitasking, actually, because <laughs> I was I was editing also something else. So. You were editing two things at <laughs> <Yeah>. once. How? <laughs> well, I was doing a TV series, which actually is here in 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 TIFF. It's uh, about uh, Mussolini's race to power. It's called M Son of the Century. Wow. And at the same time, I was helping. So how Cosmo. many monitors do you have? In front no, of I you? had different cutting rooms. I was jumping from. Uh, but there's a, there's another editor who was working with me. Her name is Manuela Lupini, and she was uh, on a daily basis there. And I would come in and out, and then I. Uh, Tag teaming, essentially. Yeah, I was literally going in and out of two places. Uh, the editing style, what were you driven to do in, in this style in comparison to other pieces of work you've done in the past? No, for me, it was important to keep the fluidity of the narrative and the, the sense of a uh, kind of epic journey of his life. So it's to structure the film through this narrative of a man who is from this humble the great deep root origin in the Tuscan countryside who goes to New York goes to China goes to everywhere and conquer all but, but but then he comes back he comes back home and he he loves his home and uh, and we, 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 I feel quite the same you know I, I don't live in Tuscany but I'm from Tuscany too Cosima is from Tuscany so we both had something in common with with Andrea because um, Tuscany is our home as well as uh, as Andrea's one. I'm jealous. So I, wish, we, I wish I'm from. I was from Tuscany <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's very hot in the summer. I don't care. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Under the Tuscan sun inspired yeah. me to go there first. So well, you should. I definitely it's a need to spend place. more time there. Yeah. What is your favorite food? I have to ask that in Tuscany. T-bone. Fiorentina steak. Oh. Is that what they're known yeah. for there? Oh yeah. Yes. Really? They, they have this massive, uh, huge cows, like white cows. They run. The, 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 you, you know, in Siena they do this palio, this horse race. Oh, I've heard race. of that. Yeah. And these cows bring the the banner that the jockey wins, and this is the cow. They, they make t-bones out of them. Wow. Them. Anyway, it's, I'm gonna have it's, to try it's delicious. That. And I, they if you're carnivorous, like all, they put olive oil as well on their steaks out yeah, there yeah, too, yeah. right? That's yeah. a big thing. Yeah. All right, I'm adding that to my list then. Yeah. T-bone steak in Tuscany. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How, how was your experience to go back to your whole life and your career? Come si è sentito come esperienza rivivere la tua vita dall'inizio della carriera? Ah, sometimes it was embarrassing. Sometimes enjoying, enjoying, and uh, I don't know. Now, now I will, I will see again this movie with Khan and uh, I will see. What is one piece of advice you have for people who are aspiring to make a name for themselves 
Un consiglio che daresti a qualcuno che sta iniziando la strada, il percorso d'artista? Well, it's very difficult because the world is so changed since when I began. So the only thing that I can say to the young people is that it's very important to study, to study, to study in order to know as much as possible our instrument. The voice. What is the biggest impact Thank you. Uh, for future uh, for future musicians that you want to pass along for the new generation? Di nuovo l'eredità che vuole lasciare ai futuri musicisti. Io uh, let me say in Italian because io vorrei che la musica uh, tornasse ad essere um, come era una volta una musica di alti contenuti. Mm -hmm. I want music to come back to what it used to be, a music of high importance substantive content.